Restream Tutorial for Beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Restream. Restream is a super simple live video platform that empowers you to create beautiful videos and multi-stream them to your favorite channels. Whether you want to stream to YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, or 30 plus other streaming services at once, Restream has got you covered. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Restream, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, look for the Get Started button located next to the Login option at the top right corner of the website. Clicking on it will take you to the registration page. On the registration page, you'll find several options to sign up for a new account. Restream allows you to sign up using your Google account, Facebook account, or your email address. Choose your preferred option and follow the prompts to complete the sign up process. Once you've successfully signed up, you will be redirected to your account dashboard. At this point, a pop-up window may appear, giving you the option to choose a plan. If you're not ready to select a plan yet, you can simply click on the exit button to access your account dashboard without making a choice. Once you access your account dashboard on Restream, you'll notice a left panel that contains important tabs for different functionalities on the platform. Initially, the left menu is minimized, but you can expand it by clicking on the three dots located in the menu. The first tab on the left panel is Home. Here you can add channels to your Restream account by clicking on the plus add channel button. Additionally, you can utilize the studio feature to start streaming, connect to OBS or Zoom, upload and stream video files, schedule events, and even record video and audio. Moving on to the events tab, you can view your upcoming and past events. If you don't have any events at the moment, you can create a new event by clicking on the plus create event button. The Video Storage tab provides a space where you can upload and stream your videos. If you wish to record your streams, simply click on the Start Recording button and your recorded streams will be stored in this section. In the Team tab, you can view your team members and their assigned roles. If you haven't added any team members yet, you can invite them by clicking on the Invite Members button. The Analytics tab allows you to gain insights into your streams. You can overview various metrics such as your streams, average duration, chat messages, and average views. Furthermore, with the analytics section, you'll find different subsections like stream sessions, stream metrics, chat, and audience, providing you with further exploration of your stream analytics. Lastly, you have access to additional options such as the Help Center, managing your account settings, and billing information. Overall, Restream's account dashboard offers a comprehensive set of features and functionalities to manage your channels, events, videos, team members, and analyze your streaming performance. Now, let's see how to add channels in Restream. To add channels in Restream, start by navigating to the left menu and clicking on the Home tab. Within the Home tab, you'll find a plus Add Channel button. Click on it to proceed. After clicking on the button, a pop-up window will appear, offering various platform options to add such as Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, Instagram, and more. You can choose any of these platforms to add to Restream. Let's say you want to add your YouTube channel to Restream. Click on the YouTube option in the pop-up window. Another window will appear presenting you with two options, Channel and Event. Select the Channel option. In the following window, click on the Connect YouTube button. You will then be prompted to choose your Google account that has a YouTube channel you want to connect with Restream. Provide the necessary permissions as requested. Once completed, your YouTube channel will be successfully connected to Restream. In addition to connecting your YouTube channel, you can also connect other platforms to Restream. Suppose you've already added your YouTube channel and now wish to connect your Facebook account. To do this, click on the plus add channel button and select Facebook from the list of available platforms. A small window will appear presenting you with three options, profile, group, and page. In the free plan, you can connect your profile. However, if you want to connect a group or a page, you'll need to upgrade your plan. Let's proceed by clicking on Profile. In the next window, click on the Connect Facebook button. This action will open another tab or window where you'll be prompted to log into your Facebook account and provide the necessary permissions. Once you've successfully completed this step, your Facebook account will be connected to your Restream account. By connecting multiple platforms such as YouTube and Facebook to Restream, you can effectively stream your content to a wider audience and engage with viewers across various social media channels. 
Next, let's see how to create a new event in Restream. To create a new event in Restream, start by navigating to the left menu and clicking on the Events tab. Once you click on it, you will be redirected to the Events page. On the Events page, you'll find a Plus New Event button. Click on it to proceed with creating a new event. A pop-up window will appear, presenting you with different options for where you want to stream your event. Restream Studio, Encoder RTMP, and Video File. If you choose the Restream option, you can stream directly from your browser using Restream Studio. This option allows you to easily go live without the need for additional software or encoders. For the purpose of this tutorial, let's select the Restream option. This will enable us to restream directly from our browser using Restream Studio. After selecting the Restream option and proceeding with creating a new event, the next step is to enter the title and description of the event. You can provide a catchy title and a brief description that conveys the purpose or topic of your event. Additionally, you can choose the date and time zone for when you want the event to take place. In the thumbnail section, you have the option to upload a thumbnail image for your event. If you already have a thumbnail image, you can replace the existing one with a new one that best represents your event. Once you've completed these details, click on the Next button to proceed. The next step involves adding platforms to your event in order to create a stream. Restream provides various platform options like Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and more. Next to each platform, you will see a Connect option. Click on the Connect option next to the desired platforms to connect your channels. If you want to connect additional channels, you can click on the plus add channels button to include them. Once you have connected the desired channels or platforms, click on the create event button to finalize the creation of your event. A pop-up window will appear providing you with a shareable link for your event. You can copy this link and share it with people to invite them to join your event. Sharing the link will allow others to access and participate in your event, increasing its visibility and engagement. By following these simple steps, you can create a new event in Restream and effectively promote and share it with your audience across multiple platforms. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Restream. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that. Thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take care.